1UP's cross-country game tour is brought to you by the Samsung Vibrant, a Galaxy S phone exclusively from T-Mobile. Hello, and welcome to id Software. Come on in. My name is Tim Willits, and I am the creative director uh, here at id Software, and I'm working on Rage, but today I'm gonna give everybody a really cool tour of all the neat things that we have here at the office. So this right here is our lobby. Right here, this is uh, uh, one of our trophy cases. Uh, we actually have a real Emmy here. This Emmy was uh, given to us for developing 3D software uh, engines. And, and you know what, it's actually much heavier than, uh, than it looks on TV. One of the neat things uh, that we have here at id Software is we have some of the original models that we use to create Doom 1. Now before, we had Max and Lightwave and you know Mudbox and things is like things like that. We had to build all of our models in actual 3D. Here we have the Revenant from the original Doom. And what we did at the time is once these were built, then we actually took pictures, photographs of all the sides. And we took those and we created the animations from that. Over here on this side of the office, we have some, some of our, our most uh, uh, prized uh, possessions here at id Software. We have, of course, more models from the original Doom. We have a model of the Quake 3 tour bus, which was, uh, I always thought was really cool. This was from Team Arena, and we used this for the box cover. Uh, if you happen to have seen the uh, Doom movie, you may recognize the BFG that uh, The Rock fired in the movie. It was a little bit bigger in the movie, uh, but that's a model from that. Uh, moving this way, we have probably my favorite uh, id Software artifact. This here is the plastic shotgun that the guys bought from, I think, Toys R Us here in Mesquite, Texas. Uh, and they use this to model the original Doom shotgun. Now, if if you look at it kind of like this, you can you can see you can imagine that you're actually playing Doom One. And our office is is not too big, uh, but one of the neat things that we try to do here is we try to put up on the wall some of our our, our more um, our bigger publications and things that really kind of highlight the history of its software. If you're familiar with id Software, you know we've been around since the early 90s, and when you walk the halls, you can see uh, kind of the history of, of the company. So uh, we're going to go and, and, and show you our kitchen. Here, uh, really is where most of it happens. This is our kitchen. Sunrise. We even have classic arcade games. That Mortal Kombat 2 has been played a lot. We're always well stocked. Actually right now we're, we're a little low on food, uh, but you know, it's definitely one of the things that we try to do here at Software is make sure everyone has a lot of food. On the Rage team, we have each of the major groups of developers separated out and so they work together. We have the artists, the programmers, and the designers. Uh, here, as you see, is, is the art room uh, for the Rage team. And uh, we try to have, uh, you know, very low cube walls, you know, for the artists. They, they like to work together. They're very quiet right now because I think they know that we're, you know, filming. But, you know, they're always working together. They, they talk a lot. It's, it's definitely a team atmosphere here. So let's go ahead and, and walk down and see the, uh, the programmers. Uh, 
you know, programmer staff here did software, uh, brand new technology on Rage, id Tech 5, created by John Carmack. Uh, you know, the uh, uh, our kind of core technology group is, is located here on the Rage team. Uh, Robert Duffy is busy working there. He's our programmer director on, uh, on Rage. Um, as you can see, the programmers like to have just a little more privacy. They like to have it a little more quiet. So their cube walls are all much taller. And that gives them the opportunity to really concentrate on what they're working on. But if they need to talk to uh, some other programmers, it's very easy for them to do that. So let's go ahead and head over to the uh, design section of the office. But before we do that, let's make one quick little stop. <clears throat> this board right here, uh, this is, there's classic id software and then there's really classic id software. This board has uh, all of the games that were created by the original group of id software founders. So John Carmack, Adrian Carmack, John Romero. And this is actually uh, uh, from SoftDisk when the guys worked at SoftDisk. This game right here, Catacombs 3, is, you know, really kind of gave John Carmack the idea and it was really kind of the birth of the first person shooters. You know, many people believe that Wolfenstein invented it, uh, but the original concept was kind of formulated in, in Catacombs and then made popular, of course, in Wolfenstein. As you can see, our office is much smaller uh, than what you would typically find. And one of the reasons for that is we like to keep the small team atmosphere here. And, uh, uh, you know, we want to make sure that everybody has input in the game design. We want to make sure that, that, that everyone feels that they're part of the family and part of the team. So that's our very quick uh, tour of id software. Uh, and I, uh, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed it.